known for Helen Turner 14 and I'm one of the first children to have the DCD heart transplant. This new procedure has prolonged my life, it's saved my life and it's given me new opportunities that I didn't have beforehand. Before my operation, I was feeling breathless. I struggled to walk up the stairs. At first, the doctors told me it was probably nothing, but later on, they found out that I actually had a rare heart condition. So if I didn't have the DCD procedure, it would have taken me a year to two years to get a heart transplant. When I found out that I was getting my heart transplant and a heart was ready for me, I was sort of in disbelief. But when I was in the ambulance on my way to Great Ormond Street Hospital, I realised what was happening. If Freya had been left for much longer, we would have been in a position where she wasn't able to accept just a heart transplant and she would have needed a heart and lung transplant. On this side of the picture, you can see Freya's new heart after her transplant some months ago. On this side of the picture, we have a picture of Freya's old heart. Although the bottom chambers were pumping reasonably okay, they weren't relaxing nicely. This is a very dangerous situation and that can be very difficult to treat. Our biggest problem in transplantation is a lack of donor organs. And until recently, we've only been able to use hearts from patients whose hearts are beating in order for them to be transplanted. This new technique allows us to take hearts from patients after their hearts have stopped beating. And the OCS machine, or the organ care system, is a system which allows us to perfuse the heart, give the heart blood, and reanimate the heart, so start the heart again, so that we can check the heart will work. So, this one's of me horse riding. Um, my cousin's horse, before I knew I had a heart condition and just doing the things I liked without a second thought. It's comforting to know that I don't have to worry about my heart all the time and it means I have a longer future and that I can hang out with my friends and family without worrying. In the future, I'd like to get into veterinary. Um, I'd like to do either orthopaedics or the heart. It has such a meaning to me and a connection, and I'd just love to help animals.